So now let's talk about degassing and why you want to do that. Uh, Smooth On does make a variety of silicones that are pourable, don't need to be degassed, means they have a lower viscosity and the air bubbles will naturally migrate. Uh, they migrate pretty well out of the Mold Max 40, but I'm doing a sort of a production job and I want to make sure my molds are, are really solid and tight. So I'm going to go ahead and degas this. This basically takes all the air bubbles out. Uh, so degassing puts the material in a vacuum. So any bubbles that are in there uh, will expand, right? Uh, you know, you vacuum, they're going to expand. They're going to sort of pop and explode. Very much like on... Um, undoing a ginger ale bottle, right? You don't have any bubbles in this sort of expand because it's under pressure. So it's sort of the opposite of that. Um, the key here is that uh, degassing, your material will expand four times its volume. So here I got about a gallon of silicone. So I want to have at least a four, if not a five gallon bucket, because this is going to foam up. And then it gets up to a point where it's sort of all the bubbles pop and the whole thing collapses. It's kind of cool. I'll show you that too. But, uh, you want to make sure you have a large enough vacuum chamber. So if you're just buying a little quart, that only means you can do little pints. So I always recommend getting a much larger vacuum chamber than you think you need because, as I said, if um, if you're going to do a gallon material, you're probably going to want to have a five gallon uh, vacuum chamber. So a little advice on that. I'm then going to put this under vacuum, throw a vacuum, and we'll show you what this looks like when it foams up. Then it starts to boil a little bit, and then it sort of drops down. It doesn't do it as, um, as much, meaning expand as much when you have uh, more than a gallon. If you have less, it definitely foams up, and you can really see that. Um, I usually let it drop down and continue to degas de for another 30 seconds or so, maybe a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Introduce atmospheric pressure. Uh, if you can tell, the whole thing sort of drops down. Um, <clears throat> sometimes I'll let this rest a little bit. There will be some surface bubbles on the top. And before I pour them, I'll take a little air. And I'll take air and just blow the top. What that does is just pops those surface bubbles. Just so when I start pouring, I'm not going to pour one of those surface bubbles into my mold. So that's how I mix and degas silicone. So check out it's Smooth On, and they have a subsidiary called Reynolds Advanced Material. That's where you get the mixers and all accessories and clays and things like that. So uh, remember, go a little larger than you think you need to. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.